now we're gonna use this one the, the pocket thing the pocket thing is actually to create a uh, some kind of uh, an operation to stop stack any materials so as you can see in here uh, the solid body this one and this one interference okay so we need to create some kind of hole inside here to 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 fit this one and also to fit this bolt and also to fit the workpiece the core cavity and also to fit the cooling channel and also the e ejector pin so so it's same like uh, you go to home and using this one uh, okay now i want to uh, a subtract material for example i want to uh, the target body is this one okay okay and the uh, select object is the components okay and the body six maybe i will highlight all all the body and the tool type is the component you can also using a solid body in here and then select type the component so the all the component will be uh, highlighted you can see the component is in here click apply i using non-associative because sometimes when i using associative uh, it just won't work after that i subtract all this one using the solid body yeah all others okay oh sorry subtract material select body using solid others okay Okay, when we subtract, if there's a there's a important information and uh, the checkmate will also check this one something like this. Okay, you can close this one by using this one deactivate and go back again to mold wizard. Hide the constraint. Okay, now we have all this subtracted, and then the next step. We go to this, uh, what it's called a uh, static interference check. So static inf interference check is important if you want to check with in interference between uh, all these parts. Okay. But I think I will skip this one. I will go straight to pre-processed motion. Pre-processed motion. The first thing you should do is add kinematic model. Click this one using what two plate or three plate style for example i'm going to use two plate style uh, the machine stroke is a this one the machine ejection distance is d this one okay i will accept all the, all the uh, default uh, setting for this i click apply okay and then go to mount a component mount component is a uh, information window to show you are you agree uh, this part go into a moving part this one go into fixed part this is the ejection okay something like this okay and then you go to okay go to this one run simulation and see the result okay let's check the simulation now you can see in here the part is uh, the blue one is ejected after the process I think that's a correct one if you want to make it a slower you simply adjust this become 0 0.5 for example the simulation becomes slower you can see easier something like that okay and that's it for the 
NX mold tooling. I think already complete. As I previously mentioned, I will not uh, show about assembly drawing and whole table. Just only until uh, build of uh, materials. So maybe I will show you a little bit about build of material. So we already complete from the beginning until end. The end is this one. This simulation, a kinematic simulation for this uh, mold uh, tooling. So just only a little bit more about bill of material. If you want to use use uh, bill of material, you can click this one bill of material. You can see in here. You can change what is necessary, and then you can export to Excel a, a spreadsheet. You can see in here. It will create automatically using the Excel format, and you can change based on what you need on the build material. Okay, so that's it for the uh, mold and X mold. Thank you for watching my video, and I will up keep update for the mold tooling.